Hello. So today I will be telling you about Chief Seattle Suite 1854. I will be telling you about the important points in the whole speech. Okay, so let's begin with the first stanza. In the first stanza, Chief Seattle uh, puts great sympathy on his tribe and he shows that he is reliable and that the great chief at Washington, meaning George Washington, he can rely upon the words of the great chief. Chief Seattle is very reliable and then he also uh, shows that he also shows how his tribe has fallen from a glorious position. He is implying us to show sympathy towards his tribe and that they are not very well off and they need the help of the white people meaning the people who have come to America. He needs their help to survive. His tribe needs their help to survive. So here in the first line uh, it is said that the yonder sky meaning that the vast sky has wept tears of compassion meaning tears of sympathy upon his people for centuries meaning that since uh, time untold the vast sky has always shed tears of sympathy upon my people and that the thing which has remained changeless and eternal will change like if tomorrow is fair tomorrow it may be overcast with clouds my words are like stars that never change meaning my words will never change they will always remain constant he will not deny what he has said today he then says that the great chief at Washington meaning George Washington can rely upon his words with as much certainty as he can upon the return of the sun or the seasons like the sun comes every day like the four seasons come once every year George Washington can return upon can rely upon his words just like the return of the sun and the seasons he says that the big chief at Washington he meaning George Washington sends the tribe greetings of friendship and goodwill but he knows that he does not need their friendship meaning George Washington has little need of the friendship of Chief Seattle because they are already well dependent why would they need the help of tribesmen they are modern people his people are many meaning the modern people the white people George Washington's people they are many people here a comparison has been made they are like the grass that covers vast prairies meaning like we cannot count grasses in a field his people are like that in, in numbers and another comparison is made here his people meaning chief Seattle's people are like the scattering trees of a storm swept plain uh, meaning when storm goes through a plain it uproots trees and very few trees are left standing so uh, his people are like the scattering trees of a storm swept plain. The great and I presume good chief white chief sends us word that he wishes to buy our land and is willing to allow us enough to live comfortably. So he says that the great chief but here he is saying that I presume good because he is saying that George Washington is great because his uh, political position is great he is a uh, great political figure historical figure but he is not sure whether he is a good person or a bad person so he says and I presume and I think good so George Washington wants to buy land from chief Seattle's people but they will be given enough to live comfortably uh, this appears a generous offer for chief Seattle's people because he says that the red man no longer has rights that he need respect meaning the red people have long lost have long lost their right to need respect and they are also fewer people as compared to before so they no longer need an extensive country meaning a vast country so they think that the offer made by george washington is a good one 
and they might accept it into the second stanza uh, all over the speech we will see that chief seattle compares his tribe to many things and each thing the things that he compares his tribe to describes the uh, situation of his tribe another comparison is made here there was a time when our people covered the land as the waves of a wind ruffled sea cover its shell puff flow meaning that once we had so many people uh, like the waves like how you cannot count waves in a notion because they are numerous you cannot count them similarly uh, chief seattle's people were also countless one sapunata but uh, waves of a wind ruffled sea cover its shell puff flow but that time has long passed away with the greatness of the tribes that are now but a mournful memory meaning that time has passed away and now it is all but a sad memory sad memory i will not think upon nor i will make myself sad over the untimely decay meaning the the end that has come too soon or untimely decay means ended before its time nor reproach my pale face pale face brothers with hastening as we too may have been somewhat to blame meaning that chief seattle accepts that the decline of their tribe was always to come but he also says that it came way early and he will not make himself sad over this fact and he will also not hate his pale face pale face brothers meaning the white americans with hastening it meaning that the white americans also kind of hasten meaning uh they quickened the process of decline of chief seattle strike and he says that we are also partly responsible for this fact youth is impulsive when our young men grow angry at some real or imaginary wrong and disfigure their faces with black paint it denotes that their hearts are black and that they are often cruel and relentless and our old men and old women are unable to restrain them he says that youth is impulsive whenever they grow angry they cover their faces with black paint and uh, this shows that they are black in heart meaning they are cruel and relentless and the old people meaning their parents the old women and women are unable to contain them or restrain them it has always happened like thus it has ever been and so it was when the white people began to push our forefathers ever westward meaning when chief seattle started losing land when the white americans started pushing their uh, forefathers westward this had happened the youth covered their faces in black and they did rush a- actions because they were impulsive he then hopes that such hostilities meaning the hostilities between the tribes people and the white americans they should never return because chief seattle's men have everything to lose and nothing to gain revenge by young men is considered gain even at the cost of their own lives he says that those conflicts which had taken place sometime they should never come back because all chief seattle's men have is to lose they have nothing to gain revenge by young men like it is said before youth is impulsive so they consider revenge again even if they have to die even at the cost of their own lives but the old men who stay at home in times of war and mothers who have sons to lose no better and then the old people who stay at home they know the true loss of war because the young people they go and die but the ones who stay alive are the old mothers and the old people they know it better what it is to lose in this stanza 
more detailed sir shown about the offer that george washington has offered chief selector our good father in washington for i presume he is now our father as well as you since king george has moved his boundaries further north so he says that the the person in charge at washington he is the father of the white people figuratively and chief seattle also considers him a father because he has provided them a new opportunity now ever since king george pushed their people north he says that if chief seattle strive does as he desires meaning that if they listen to the instructions of george washington he will protect them his brave warriors will be to us a bristling wall of strength and his wonderful ships of war will fill our harbors this deal this uh, pact between george washington and chief seattle the modern people his modern soldiers the modern white people they will protect the tribesmen and he will also provide them uh, battleships wonderful ships of war which will protect them from their other ancient enemies meaning other tribes people their names are haidas and simians so in return for land he will be given soldiers and battleships to fight off their ancient enemies and these ancient enemies will then they will not be able to frighten the women children and old men he says that if this is possible if this happens then in reality he will be our father and we his children because he is providing them soldiers he is providing them ships so chief seattle says that if this truly becomes possible if this truly becomes uh, possible then he will act as a father to his children children meaning chief seattle's tribe like a father protects his children so now george washington is protecting the tribesmen so like that but he says but he then questions himself but can that ever be your god is not our god he says that your god is not our god your god loves your people and hates mine he folds his strong protecting arms lovingly about the pale face pale face means the white americans and leads them by hand as a father leads an infant son but he has forsaken his red children he says that the god of the pale face brothers he only loves the white americans he guides them like a father guides a small child but he has forsaken his red children and if they really are his meaning if chief seattle's people are like children to the god of the white americans the god of the white americans has forsaken them he then says that even their own native god the great spirit he also seems to have forsaken us meaning abandoned us forsaken meaning abandon the god of the white people makes them strong every day makes your people wax stronger every day and very soon they will grow in such huge numbers they will fill all the land and our people are ebbing away like a rapidly receding tide that will never return meaning our people are on the decline their our numbers are on the decline so here always we can see that comparisons are being made our people are ebbing away like a rapidly receding tide that will never return rapidly receding meaning going away very fast they are the people of the white american the white american people their numbers are increasing and chief seattle's people their numbers are declining very soon 
the white man's god cannot love our people or he would protect them they seem to be orphans who can look nowhere to nowhere for help chief seattle stripe is like an orphan that can look nowhere to nowhere for help again a question is asked that if our gods are different your god only helps your people he doesn't help us even our own god has abandoned us so how can we be brothers how can your god become our god and renew our prosperity and awaken us in dreams of returning greatness dreams of returning greatness meaning uh, how can your god show us how to become great how to increase our numbers how to uh, go to the same glory that we once had if we have a heavenly father meaning a god he must be partial meaning if we have a common god then he must be partial because he only comes to uh, help his pale faced children we have never seen him he has given you laws but he never spoke to us he never spoke to his red children whose steaming multitudes once filled this vast continent as stars fill the firmament here another question is made uh, sorry here another comparison is being made how chief seattle tribe uh, their numbers once was so vast whose steaming multitudes once filled his vast continent as stars filled the firmament no we are two distinct races with separate origins and separate destinies there is little in common between us uh the ashes of my ancestors they are sacred to me and their resting place resting place is hallowed ground meaning the place where i bury my ancestors that place is very sacred to me and their ashes are also sacred to us you wander far you go away from the graves of your ancestors and seemingly without regret when your people die you bury them and then never visit the place again in your life and you do so without having any regret your religion was written upon tablets of stone by the iron finger of god so that you could not forget there uh the white americans they have bible they have other religious texts so chief seattle says that god has written your religion in iron tablets with the help of an iron finger stone tablets sorry stone tablets with an iron finger the red people meaning the red indians they could never learn to read so they never could read the religion or the testaments of the religion of christianity they could never understand it nor they could ever remember it my religion chief seattle's religion our religion is all but the traditions of our ancestors whatever the people before me passed on to me that is my religion nothing more whatever knowledge i gain from the people from my ancestors that is my religion the dreams of our old men given them in solemn hours of the night meaning lonely hours by the great spirit the visions of our sachems meaning leaders is written in the hearts of our people so the visions that their god gave them at night the visions of their leaders the dreams of their old people everything all of this makes up their religion 